what's up guys today we'll be talking about whether or not we can predict our dating successes in a new city just by looking at the population pyramid graph we'll be analyzing four cities i know decently well and seeing whether or not our predictions can actually line up with my experiences there a lot of us say you shouldn't let it come down to math but sometimes a thousand extra men a thousand less women can actually make a pretty big difference even in a really big city so We'll be discussing my personal ranking of the five most important aspects of the population pyramid and what I believe is most important all the way to least important. Let's go. Okay, so let's go and get started. Here is my personal ranking of what is most important in the population pyramid. So it's a ratio of male to females, racial demographics, the dating culture, the politics, and geographical location, and number of men and older age brackets and then the overall population so we're gonna hop right into uh, my personal ranking is just slightly different so I think for an Asian guy that's a bit on the younger side uh, the racial demographics is the most important if you want to date like white women and stuff also increase your k-pop coefficient I guess we could call it that and then there's also dating culture I think in more liberal metropolitan areas it's actually ironically worse for uh, Asians uh, like the East Coast West Coast the apparently uh, it's not so good exception New York maybe but yeah so let's go ahead and do our first analysis and we're going to be looking at San Jose so this is a uh, very notorious for its terrible ratio as you can see here we're going to start with the 15 to 19 and we see a slight difference remember how a thousand actually makes a pretty huge difference especially if it involves uh, more men than women and we see here the older men is also passing the bill down to us younger guys a uh, way way more the ratio is insane it's actually terrible it, it looks like it's almost even but don't let this small difference fool you and then the demographics also not the best we got a lot of the um, uh, not so many whites that means uh, it's harder to get a white girlfriend Asians makes you more replaceable and it's also making the white guys even more desirable and stuff. So I'm not going to spend too much time in each city. New York, uh, so apparently we hear a lot of good things about it. And we can see how the ratios are very different. You guys are really lucky if you live there. 20,000 more females just in 2024 range. About 8 million people total. And don't forget that a metropolitan area is different than a city. A metropolitan is much larger. So we can see that in the next city I'm going to talk about. But yeah, we see how it's way better. Dating culture is good too. City places involve um, just have more things to do. Looks good. Uh, yeah, not too many older people. It could be better, but the ratio itself is still the most important. Uh, actually, one more thing. The reason I don't like New York is because of the population distribution. Like, it's probably the best place to get dates, but not the best to date white woman just due to gender or sorry racial demographics okay now we're gonna go to st louis i spent around four years here i have a pretty good sample size and it's probably my favorite city to date out of my four-ish five-ish sample size so what i like about this is that it's probably the whitest city i've really lived in it's got a split between black and white population with everyone else kind of being a really small minority gender ratios are really good here actually are 1,000 more men for just 15,000 or 1,000 more women and then older people this is kind of normal in a bigger city or in the metropolitan city you're gonna have some older people just because of the workforce we got a few solid colleges bringing the ratio up pretty well and uh, yeah and this is just a st. Louis city the metropolitan area has over a million people but the city itself how it's classified only as 250,000 okay I want to compare that with Tucson a bit because both of them are just like regular cities and I have a decent sample size in this city also so uh, I found that it's, it's a split between Hispanic and white so like St. Louis but for every black guy it's like a Hispanic essentially okay now this is the reason I like this city is it's a bit interesting it's different notice how like there is there are very few older men and women compared to the younger generation this is due to the presence of university city that's kind of dominating the college town but it's not exactly a town it's a bit more it's like a medium-sized city but 
we can see that there are around a thousand more men, almost two thousand more men and women in this range. If we check out the eighteen nineteen, it's slightly closing. So I assume the university gives a lot of male students, but a lot of the workforce is still male dominated. So that's why I thought this place was interesting. They have a different dynamic where the gender ratio is not the best, but the older population is uh, better. Oh, sorry, skip connection. I was right. Okay, now here's just like an overall comparison. Most bigger cities will have like a good amount of people between 25 and 40, the major workforce. And then you got these college towns, which have a very low population of uh, older people compared to younger. But this is where a dating culture also comes in. So places where Asians are a majority, I think it's actually less accepted to be dating a Asian. I, I don't know. It's really hard to say this, but even if they're accepting, you're just in competition with other Asian guys. Or if you're black or if you're white, you're just in competition with other people with the same archetype. That's why it's very important to go somewhere where you're special and why K-pop Max is actually a legit, legit thing to do. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty much the overall comparison. So let's go ahead and play a quick game. We're going to analyze the city uh, I've never been to personally. I just picked this city right here. It looks like it's around uh, 50. It's more majority white than St. Louis. And then the gender ratios are looking okay. Slightly less. Around the exact same. Dating culture, it's Midwest. It's probably pretty chill. I would say this city is probably somewhere slightly less than St. Louis, but better than Tucson. Yeah, that's where I would kind of put it. And here's my rankings. It's just approximate, just throwing a random number on each of them. Uh, yeah, and this is just the US. Europe is better than all of them, obviously. But we do what we could do. Now we're going to go ahead and analyze the actual results I've had in these cities and see if they line up with what I've preached. So we're going to run through the personal statistics really quickly. So I just call a successful date something that I was thinking to make out. So within these time frames, there were more than this amount of dates usually. But we're just going to kind of average them out of it and see if we could draw a conclusion. So I have, I usually record my dates or I don't record all of them. I record the ones that have been some kind of success basically. And I found that San Jose time frame I used for this statistic was around 90 days uh, I think the average rating is a good way to look at it uh, maybe in a different video I'll talk about how I rate them but I usually try to do them comparing to each other to try to keep them accurate so this is a 6.54 average New York I had a shorter time frame but I was still able to squeeze in two successful dates I'm not going to go too much into detail what I did with most of them uh, but yeah, I put them at a 7 average. St. Louis, it was a 75 time range. I did have 15 successful dates, average rating 6.87. And then Tucson, there was uh, around 60 days, 11 with a 6.81. So yeah, as I expected, um, there's some nuanced reasons why I still think St. Louis is better. But I'm not going to say every single small detail, but... I would go back here if I could. Uh, yeah, so it's a slightly higher version or slightly higher number. I well, hope you guys enjoy my quick analyzation. I could have gone further in the depth, but didn't want the video to be too long. Let me know how your guys' cities are in the comments. And uh, see you next time.